What's up guys, my name is Casey and this is Zone for Geeks. Today we are going to be installing Apache, MySQL, PHP, and WordPress on our Linux server. If you haven't seen my last video on how to host your own website, check out the link in the description below. I will be installing everything on a Raspberry Pi Model 3B and the commands I have used are in the description below. I've already updated my server with the most recent software and packages and I've also set a static IP. In my case, my web server is located on the DMZ of my FortiGate firewall. The first thing we need to install is going to be Apache. You can pause the video or get the command from the description below. It will take a few minutes, so as soon as it's installed, I'll be back. We've installed Apache and we can verify that it's working by opening up a web browser and navigating to our server's IP address. In my case, I've already set DNS for my web server so I can just use my website URL. If you see the Apache page, then you know you've successfully installed the Apache package. Next we're going to install MySQL. The package is MySQL-Server and as soon as it installs, I'll be back. There are some other things we'll need to do for MySQL, but for now, we're going to move on to PHP. We need to install a few additional packages for PHP. The last two, PHP XML and PHP curl are going to be needed for WordPress. It'll take a few minutes to install and then we're done with the LAMP portion of our web server. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our MySQL installation. During the process, we're going to be setting up users and permissions as well as the database that WordPress is going to store its information. I'm going to select two here for the strongest password. If you get a failed error like I did here, you'll need to manually set the password. First, to get out of this loop, you will need to either reboot your Linux machine or, if you're SSH in like I am, close out the SSH window and reconnect. Use the following command to access your MySQL database. To make sure that I don't have any typos, I'm going to copy and paste the command. Once again, you can find the command in the description below. Be sure to change the password to one of your choosing. It should go without saying that password123 is not a secure password. Flush the privileges and then you're done. Exit out of MySQL and then run your MySQL secure installation command again. Complete the prompts and you're done. Now log into your MySQL database using the root user and your new password. Create the WordPress database 
In this case, I'm calling it WordPress, but you can name it whatever you like. I'm going to create the user WordPress admin and give it a password. Make sure to choose a username and password that is unique. Here I created the user but then forgot to assign that user to our WordPress database, so I'm going to go back in to do that. Make sure to change the name of your user to the one you created earlier. Now that our database is set up, it's time to get WordPress. Navigate to the slash var www html folder. If you check the files in the html folder, you will see one index file. This is the Apache page we see when we navigate to our web server IP. I'm going to go ahead and delete that file. If you notice, I use the asterisk at the end. This means that it will delete all files in the folder, so make sure that this is what you want to do. We're now going to download WordPress and then unzip the package. As you can see, our files are stored in a WordPress folder. We don't want this because our main landing page is going to be the HTML folder. Let's move the WordPress files from the WordPress folder to the HTML folder. Make sure to include the period at the end as that denotes our current directory. Now I want to delete the WordPress folder and the zip file that we downloaded. There is an error in my commands here. This is where we give Apache ownership of our folder so that WordPress can make changes. I've included the updated commands in the description. Look for the words updated command. There will be two different commands. Once that is done, we are ready to load WordPress. Open your browser and then navigate to your IP or URL. You should be met with the initial WordPress installation landing page. I'm going to select English. Here we enter the information from our database that we created earlier. As long as everything is working, then you should see this page. You might also see one of a couple of errors. If you see a database connection error, then you either enter the details wrong on the previous page or did something wrong when setting up your database. You might also see an error stating that WordPress was able to connect to the database but couldn't create the wp-config file or a similar file. This is because the HTML folder doesn't have the appropriate permissions. Go back into your HTML file and make sure that you assign the appropriate ownership and permission to the HTML folder. If everything worked, then you can run the installation and you will be presented with this page where you can set up the WordPress login information. Congratulations, 
you've installed WordPress and now have your own hosted website. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll catch you on the next one.